I once spent time on a porn set, and what people think is the money shot is actually called the pop. They literally shoot two kinds of porn at sure, the same sure, time, yeah. and there was like the IFP, the internal fake pop, where the guy would fake to pop while having intercourse, but because really what they wanted then for the super X-rated right. stuff was for the external pop, mm -hmm. you know, onto the, the, the subject. So let's talk about uh, some of the actors in the show. Olivia Thirlby, mm -hmm. uh, Zach Galifianakis, very funny guy, and Jason Schwartz. What's, mm -hmm. it, what's it like working with, with this crew? Mm -hmm. Is there a lot of improv? Mm -hmm. is, is there not? Do you stick to the script? We tend to stick to the script mm -hmm. pretty closely. Uh, Zach very much likes to improv. Jason Schwartzman and Ted Danson, they tend to stick to the script very yeah. closely. For me, um, film or TV sets are kind of like, it's like this long extended wedding, you know, where everyone gets to know each other. Oh, hello again. That's the Saturday morning brunch before the wedding. It's the wedding. It's right. the Sunday morning thing after, you know, but, but it just keeps going. Or it's like putting on summer stock theater. You get very close with everyone. And, and, and luckily on our set, everyone got along really well. And the actors were just humble and sweet and hardworking. Um, J Jason is yeah. like, if it, to use a sports analogy, he's like the point guard. Mm. He's got a, He's the one controlling the ball, he's in every scene, he's distributing, he's passing, he lets Zach flourish. He passes the ball, he lets Ted flourish. And then he flourishes, you know, on his own, he'll take it right to the hoop when he needs to. <laughs> but he's also facilitating all these other people. Yeah. How are you? I'm in pain. Yes, I'm sure. It's like I'm surrounded by Holocaust deniers. It happened. Um, Zach, you know, I also tend to think of the character somewhat mythologically. Zach is kind of like this curmudgeon with a secret heart and, and nobility at the base of it all. Leah's making me get a colomic tomorrow. You gotta go with me. I have a real phobia around my ass. Ted is kind of like the mad, strange, somewhat flawed wizard. What the hell happened to your lip? Are you stung by a bee? A bee with herpes. You know, who yeah. thinks he knows things or sends a lightning bolt and is like, oh shoot, I hit the <laughs> wrong person. But anyway, I still can send lightning bolts. You're, you're now a producer and you're kind of in the, in the Hollywood world. Do you feel like um, fame is momentary? Do you feel like you've made it? What, how, how, do you, how, do you, how do you feel? Um, well, I feel scared. Um, you are? Yeah. I'm well, okay, I won't be, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do feel scared. I mean, you know, when, you, when a cat has to move apartments, mm -hmm. they freak out. And so my own little strange life is changing. And so naturally, on some kind of lizard brain level, I'm a little bit frightened. Right. You know, um, I was used to being poor and, you know, ah, oh, nobody likes my stuff, but, you know, it was comfortable. I just want to say one thing about being a producer on this thing sure. is that, um, in case anyone from HBO is watching, I'm up to the task. <laughs> I, may, I may be frightened, but at the same time, um, I don't know, I want to entertain people. I feel like it's an amazing. I've always rationalized my own life by thinking of myself as a clown, mm -hmm. you know, because <clears throat> one could be doing more important things, but if you don't have skills to do more important things, like I don't, I can't really help anybody in a way that they need, but I can be a clown, and so maybe I can amuse and distract a few people, make them for a moment feel a little bit better, a little bit less alone, then maybe they can, you know, what I, I don't know, it's just a rationale.